Karl Marx, then the lady here, the lady there. Can, can I take three at a time? Because otherwise I lose track. Can we have the mic here, please? Thank you very much indeed. Um, I scare myself, never mind anybody else. Um, can I first uh, congratulate India uh, as our hosts uh, on the tremendous welcome that they've given to us, uh, and that's particularly uh, to be praised in the light of the events in Mumbai with which we've all uh, sympathized. And congratulate everybody who's actually here. Uh, I, th I think it's good that uh, at least most of the people who are intending to participate are here. Um, there have been very good sessions uh, in this IGF. I believe we've moved forward considerably uh, and there has been a positive response to some of the issues that were raised last year, uh, particularly in relation to uh, greater engagement. Personally, I will go from this event with greater confidence in the process, particularly because we've seen what is an almost spontaneous development uh, of people getting together, multi-stakeholder approaches, uh, national IGFs, regional IGFs, call them what you will, uh, which indicates that we're moving out of uh, an event to a process that goes on which simply comes together uh, in a, an, an event like this. And I hope that will be very much reflected in the agenda in, in Egypt next year. It seems to me that we need to focus our program much more closely on the search for consensus. Uh, the strength of the IGF is that we're not a decision-making body or a treaty-writing body. So that gives us, in the IGF, the freedom to work in achieving consensus uh, and arguing about differences, uh, dealing with principles. Uh, we're bound to have the sort of discussion we had yesterday about uh, ICANN and its future. But I thought more to the point was this morning, an excellent discussion on emerging issues which pointed to the real agenda. Internet governance isn't just about ownership or technology, or even ownership and technology. It's about the interface between people and businesses and nations and the internet. It's about the implications of change, and it's about development. So let's promote the fact with all those stakeholders, including business, including governments, as has been said from the platform, uh, let's promote to those participants that the IGF is the safest place to work at developing the consensus that we need on issues that are actually moral, cultural, economic, and even personal in their nature. Uh, as re regards the issue of data protection or, or data privacy, can I suggest that wherever possible, we shouldn't go off into one silo, so that, for instance, if we're going to debate data privacy, we should at the same time debate data sharing, for instance, for the purposes of reducing crime and increasing personal security. Uh, if you debate those issues in separate silos, you end up with incompatible answers. And if we try to bring difficult issues together, we will go much further. Can I suggest, as far as next year is concerned, just a couple of points, that we make the annual event much more focused on the work that's done through the uh, year by coalitions, by networks and national events, and promote them, as I was very pleased you did this morning, to... but we focus on debate, sharing, and questioning. That we promote best practice to the main stage. We hear almost accidentally about how many good things are happening in many parts of the world. Uh, and we made our own presentation from the UK in a, in a small workshop. Uh, I'd like to hear more of this in well-prepared, perhaps short videos, so that we have a lot of input and then have as much time as possible for debate. The next suggestion is very painful for me. Uh, uh, it's a self-limiting suggestion that we limit all contributions, including panelists and chairs, to three minutes, <laughs> allowing people to speak more and for debate. And, and imp increase the preparatory use of net-based exchanges, video exchanges, and telephone conferences. Finally, just to reflect one plea from the stage, I do think we need to see parliamentarians from all countries more engaged in this process. That needs to be a, uh, a, a mainstream of parliamentary activity, not a separate one just for the IGF. 
Uh, and I would ask people to perhaps encourage their parliamentarians, and certainly what we will do from the UK is to argue within the Interparliamentary Union, the IPU, uh, and perhaps through the Commonwealth Parliamentary Association in our case, uh, for mainstream engagement of parliamentarians with the work of the uh, national and regional IGFs, as well as the main event itself. Thank you very much.